lunches in the morning can turn into kisses by the afternoon. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine for Planet Pulse on this Tuesday, March 4th. Yeah, there's a bit of action this morning that comes from a number of different directions. I mean, we have the moon still in feisty Aries until mid-afternoon, and the moon this morning opposes Mars, its key, um, Aries key, a ruling planet. And so we can be cruising for a bruising. You know, we can be out looking for a little bit of an adrenaline rush by kind of baiting someone to want to fight. That's right, right. But taken together, today is a mix of the salty and the sweet. That feistiness of the moon in Aries, its opposition to Mars, do characterize much of the early part of the day. But shortly after 2 p.m. this afternoon, the moon moves into Venus-ruled, earthy, sensual Taurus, where pleasure and cuddling become more important, and there's a whole bunch of Venus activity that's sort of woven throughout the day. Yeah, y yes, <laughs> and yet I don't know that that Venus energy will be that easy to get to. I mean, we have the sun making a half square with Venus early. Th Which is the only negative or challenging aspect the sun of consciousness and sociable Venus can possibly make. Now we have the moon that has a whole choice of negative aspects <laughs> to make. The moon squares Venus. These midday. are all late morning, well, noonish. Well, that's to yeah. noon, noonish. And then later today, Venus actually forms a square with the nodes of the moon, which is a bit more subtle. But these all indicate to me that 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 the Venus energy is heightened. I, I agree with you completely, but it may not be easily accessible. We may need to work for it. I think that's a good point because. Venus is in Capricorn, which is a sign of work. We want to yeah. earn respect. Yet, not only do we have these challenging aspects, but the moon of instinct and emotion will be in the zodiac's first two signs, which tend to be more direct and immediate and less concerned with respect and long-term issues, but what's going on in the here and now. I find this day particularly interesting because the moon, as you said, moves into Taurus, which is a Venus sign. Venus is ac accentuated from every which way. Exactly. Not all easy, but there's a lot of energy aimed at her, and it's her last day of being in Capricorn forever. She's been in Capricorn for a long time because of that retrograde. She'll be back next year. But. Yes, but normally Venus whizzes through a sign in, uh, in a few weeks, and she's been in, in, in Capricorn Too since long. November. And so, so tomorrow she moves into Aquarius, and I think it's really interesting as a last dance, she's vying for such planetary attention. And, and right is are we going to be crotchety and ruled by the past and a past sense of failure or are we going to be able to recognize that we've earned sufficient respect and love to then graduate to new kinds of connections? I, I agree. Well said. For Thank Planet you. Pulse, I'm Rick Levine. And I'm Jeff Chow.